Hey y'all, let's look at, uh, oh, this is an unfortunately titled uh, you know, chapter here. Complex numbers and real numbers. You remember what complex numbers are, right? It's a, you know, a real number plus an imaginary number, right? Okay, we know it, it's written in this format where the A is the real number and the B sub, uh, the B, uh, the coefficient of I, that's second, okay? All right, let's look at something uh, we've done before. Remember how to do this? Multiply these things, okay? All right, well, the, this part of it is called products of complex conjugates. Wow, <clears throat> that sounds complicated, but anyway, look what happens if you take this number right here, or this uh, term right inside the parentheses, and you multiply it by what is called the conjugate. Remember what a conjugate is? It's the same thing as that, except you just change the sign in the middle. Okay, well, let's look at it. All right, well, so five times five is 25. Five times negative two i is negative 10i. All right, done. Two i plus five is positive 10i, and then two i times negative two i is negative four i squared. And don't forget i squared is negative one. Well, what happens is these cancel out if we use a conjugate and we multiply them together. So those are gone. The irrational numbers are finished. The uh, minus four times minus one is just four, so we have 25 plus four, or 29. Now this is okay to put in a denominator. Remember, remember we don't put irrational numbers in denominators. Uh, so this is a rational number, and I uh, can't do that. So anyway, all right, so we're gonna use this fact, using conjugates, to do this kind of thing in just a second. But let's go back. We can use long division to divide uh, like a trinomial by a binomial like this. Remember how to do this? We'll just refresh our memory here, all right? We've got x squared, we got minus 2x, we got plus 7, okay? And we have an x divides into x squared x times. We multiply, it's going to be x squared plus 3x. Then we subtract the whole thing. That always goes away. Negative 2x minus 3x is negative 5x, and we drop to 7. Okay, so x into negative 5x is negative 5. Uh, negative 5 times that, of course, this will always go away. Negative 5 times 3 is negative 15. That gets subtracted. Gone. 7 minus negative 15 is 22. And then we have a little left over here. So plus 22 over x plus 3. So we always have a little denominator, unless it goes perfectly in there. I mean, this is always a denominator. All right. If you try to multiply, or excuse me, divide something like this the same way, Really, there's no simple way to do this, okay? So, but we don't want to leave that complex number in the denominator, all right? We're going to get that out of there. So there is a way we can use conjugates to clear that out, and we're going to do it like this. So give yourself a second or pause it or whatever and copy this down, and we're going to actually get rid of this complex number in the denominator by using a conjugate. So let's go ahead and multiply the top and the bottom by the conjugate, okay? So if you have 3 minus 4i in the denominator, we're going to multiply by 3 plus 4i, right? And since it's a fraction, you do the same thing to the top and the bottom, all right? Okay, let's take a look here. If you want, if you want to put parentheses around these to make it easier for yourself, feel free, okay? All right, we got 5 times 3, 15. We got 5 times 4i, 20i. We got 2i times 3, 6i. We got 2i times 4i. <clears throat> that is going to be 8i squared. Don't forget i squared by definition is negative 1. So 8 times negative 1 is negative 8. There's our numerator. The second one, if you remember what happened, well, you know, I'll just let's go through it the first time. So we have 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 4i is 12i. All right, done. Negative 4i times 3 is negative 12i. And then negative 4 times, uh, times positive 4i is going to be negative 16 and then i squared. Well, negative 16 times i squared, which is negative 1, is positive 16. And of course, these go away. Always go away. So the point is that when you're multiplying these conjugates, you can just focus on this times this and then just the negative 4i times the positive. In other words, the first two in each term and then forget the middle two. Just go with the, the last two in each term. Don't waste your time doing it. Okay. All right. Well, the looks like the uh, denominator is going to be 9 plus 16. This one, we have 15 minus 8. That's going to be 7. 
20i plus 6i is 26i. And there we go. Now it's possible that in the back of your book, since both of this, this term and that term are both over 25, they might have this as an answer in the back of their book, the back of your book. Uh, 7 over 25 plus, uh, you know, 26 over 25i. So that might be your answer. In fact, I would probably assume a lot of time it will be. Okay. All right, because there's your A, remember your, and there's your BI. That's the format you want them in. All right, let's take a look at another one. Take a sec, copy this down. All right. Well, we know what we're going to do here. We got 2i plus 3. And we got 2i plus 3. All right, so let's start multiplying. 4 times 2i, 8i. All right, 4 times 3, 12. Done. Negative 2i uh, times 2i. Did I do that right? Let's see. 4 times 2i, 8i. 4 times 3, 12. Okay, good. Negative 2i times positive 2i will be negative 4i squared. Negative 4 times negative 1 is positive 4. Okay, and negative 2i times 3 is negative 6i. All right, and again, we can skip the everything except for the, for the first and the last. So 2i times 2i, <coughs> excuse me, is 4 times i squared, or 4 times negative 1, which would be negative 4. Negative 3 times positive 3 is negative 9. All right, so let's get these crammed together. So on top, we've got 12 plus 4, 16. We've got 8i minus 6i, that's 2i. And on the bottom, we've got negative 13. And again, don't forget the format you're going to see this in is 16 over 13. And a positive divided by a negative is a negative. So negative 16 thirteenths. And then a positive divided by a negative is also a negative. So negative 2 thirteenths i. That's what you're going to see as an answer. And that's all you can do. There you go. All right. Look at 81. Uh, excuse me. Look at your practice problems. And you're going to see something interesting happen with B. But try A first and pause it. All right, well, let's conjugate here. So 3 plus 3y and then 3 plus 3y. I'm um, excuse me, 3 plus 3i, my bad. All right, 2 times 3, 6. 2 times 3i is 6i, okay? 3i times 3 is 9i. 3i times 3 times 3i is 9 times i squared or 9 times negative 1 or negative 9, all right? This one, of course, let's go ahead and just work on these two. 3 times 3 is 9. Then we have negative 3i times positive 3i. That will give us negative 9i squared. Negative 9 times i squared is negative 9 times negative 1, which is 9. All right? So we have 6 here. We have negative 9 here. That gives us negative 3. And we have 6i and 9i. That gives us 15i. This is all going to be over 18. Now, one thing that you should notice, <clears throat> and again, you're going to, you know, knock these down into two pieces. This divided by 18, and then that divided by 18. Okay. So we have negative 3 divided by positive 18. That will give us a negative total. But don't, don't uh, fail to notice that 3 over 18 can be uh, reduced as a fraction. So that will be a negative 1 sixth. That's your uh, real number. All right, 15 over 18, that's going to be a positive 5 sixths because you divide by 3, and that's going to be an i. There we go. You got this as an answer, you know, that's right. It just hasn't been knocked down uh, enough to where it needs to be. Okay, something weird happens on B. See if you know, look at the problem before you even start it. Look, look at each one of the, see the term on top? You got a 2 here on top and a negative 2 on bottom. You got a negative 2i on top and a positive 2i on bottom. What are we going to get as an answer? Okay. Give it a whirl. Do the same thing you always do. Okay, let's try it. Pause it and try it. Okay, well, you might be able to look at that and immediately tell what the answer is going to be without even working it out, but we'll just go ahead and do it. So the conjugate will be 2i plus 2, and then again, 2i plus 2. All right, let's take a look. We got 2 times 2i, that's going to be 4i. 2 times 2 is 4. Okay, done with that. Negative 2i times positive 2i is negative 4i squared. Negative 4 times i squared negative 1 is positive 4. And negative 2i times 2 is negative 4i. There we go. Okay. 
bottom, remember just get this times this and then this times that. So 2i times 2i is 4i squared. 4 times i squared is 4 times negative 1 or negative 4. Negative 2 times positive 2 is negative 4. Okay, look at the numerator. What can you cancel? The i's, right? They're gone. gone. So you get 4 plus 4 is 8. Negative 4 minus 4 is negative 8. So obviously the answer is 8 divided by negative 8, which is negative 1. Okay, and again, anytime you see you know, any fractions that have exactly the opposites on there. Um, you know, that's like saying, you know, 7 minus 5 over 5 minus 7. So you're going to get 2 here and then over negative 2, which is also negative 1. So, all right. Okay. Hope those are clear. See you guys next time.